This video explains how to develop your own Fiji plugin. First, we'll show you how to install Eclipse in Fiji on your computer. If you are already installed them, you can skip this task and jump to 405. The Eclipse IDE needs a newer Java version. You can check the Java version by opening the terminal and typing Java space minus version. Eclipse Neon needs at least version 1.8. If you don't have this version, you can download it from Oracle. You can copy the web address from the description of the video. Accept the license agreement, choose your operating system and download the file. Click this icon to start the installation process. After installing Java, we can install Eclipse. Go to the website www.eclipse.org slash downloads and download the installer. Make sure that your Java and your Eclipse version are either both 64-bit or both 32-bit. As you could see, I installed the 64-bit version of Java, so I need the 64-bit version of Eclipse. After the download finished, start the installer. Choose the Java version of Eclipse. To install Fiji, go to the website imagej.net slash Fiji slash downloads. Choose your operating system and save the file. If you are working on a Macintosh, you'll need to open the DMG file and copy Fiji into one of your folders. We are now prepared to make the plugin. When developing your own Fiji plugin, it's very useful to download an example plugin and change it instead of writing a completely new one. So we'll download the example plugin from GitHub at this website. And decompress it. Finally, these are all the files we needed to download. In the folder, you'll find a file called pom.xml. 
It contained the important information about the plugin. We have to change that example data into information about our plugin. It is important that these information are changed because otherwise many plugins would have the same name which would confuse Fiji. For that reason, open the file with the text editor. Enter your group ID. This should be domain name dot organization name dot group name. And choose an artifact ID for your plugin. This should not contain spaces or minuses. After that, enter the version number of your plugin, the name, a short description, the web page on which people can find you, the inception year, the web page and name of your organization, the license, the developer's ID, name, and website. And the information about contributors if they exist. After you entered all the important information, save and close the file. Now open Eclipse. Import the project by clicking File, Import, Maven, Existing Maven project, Next. Find the project folder. Then you should see the group ID, artifact ID and version number here. This can take some time now if you do it for the first time. Now we've opened our plugin. Rename the folder com.mycompany.imagej to your group ID by clicking right click on it, refactor, rename. After that, open the plugin source code by double clicking the file inside this folder. Rename the class to your plugin's name by clicking Refactor, Rename.
The name has to be changed above to The name of the file should have changed now to the name of your plugin. Let's check if the plugin is working so far. I have to choose an example image here. Okay, works. Now you can change the source code inside the class however you like. The code implemented here is just a simple gauze filtering example. I'll just increase the sigma here a bit. As you can see, the change has worked. After you finish writing the source code for your plugin, build it by clicking your project folder, run as, maven build, run. Now we find the build in our project folder inside a new folder called target. Choose the jar file, not the one with minus sources at the end and copy it. So let's embed the plugin into Fiji. Click right on Fiji, show package contents. And paste your plugin into the plugins folder. Here it is. That was all. You have successfully installed your Fiji plugin. Test it by opening Fiji and an example image. Then click Plugins and choose your plugin there. That's how you can develop and use your own plugin. The second time, you can use nearly the same pom.xml. Developing the plugin will be even faster.